Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and thank you so much for joining me today. So today we are going to talk about the 12th requirement of the covenant of blessings. Okay, so the 12th one that the Lord requires of us to enter into this covenant with him. This is what he said, endure to the end. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty serious, but it is really important for us to endure to the end. Like we can boast and we can talk about, Lord, I'll die for you. You know, we can say all of this stuff right now, but trials and tribulations and all types of things come and the storms hit us and we're fainting. We're falling out. We're giving up on God. We're giving up on the, the vision that he's given us, the words, the prophetic words, the purpose, the destiny that he's given us. We're giving up on it. We're giving up on him. But this is important to enter into this covenant with the Lord. You have to endure. You have to endure to the end. To the end. You can't give up, okay? And so the Lord Jesus says here in Matthew 24, 13, he's saying, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And yes, we do have to endure all things until we either leave this earth or the Lord Jesus comes to get us okay so we can never give up on God never 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 give up on God I don't care how hard things get trust me I get attacked all the time basically all every day um, but the the place that God has had has me in the spiritual realm um, my authority now has gone up so high that you know the attacks are removed like fast I mean it's really nothing I mean it doesn't even bother me but it did get really, really hard for a while. But I definitely couldn't give up. I mean, I was just like, Lord, I need a strategy. I need, you know, something that I can do, you know, that I can take care of it. So this, I'm, it's not taking me hours and hours and hours to get attacks off of me. You know, sometimes I will have attacks on me for like a week at a time. It was like billions of attacks at one time. And I was like, Lord, I need a strategy. strategy. I need help. But we cannot give up. We cannot faint how bad it gets, okay? And so here in 2 Timothy 2, 3, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And the cool thing about enduring to the end is that you're going to be rewarded. Even on this earth, things that you endure for God, if you are being attacked, or uh, you know you're in situations and you're trusting the Lord and you're counting it all joy and you still have peace about it even though it's raining and lightning bolts are all over you <laughs> and you're just still at peace you're gonna be rewarded for that because you can easily complain and do all of this stuff um, and and totally give up on God but you're gonna be rewarded and even whenever we go be with the Lord we're gonna have crowns and rewards okay and so in James 1, 12, Blessed is a man that endure temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So the Lord has promised this to us, you guys. So it's very important the way we endure. I'm going to tell you the way I do it. I have to focus on the prize. I have to focus on the Lord. You know, uh, whenever uh, temptation or, you know, trials or even fear or stress or distraction is trying to come in and take my focus off the Lord, it may get off the Lord for a while. I have to get it right back on the Lord. I say, okay, Lord, help me focus on you. Help me focus on you. Even when I have emotions, intense emotions, I'll say, Lord, help me focus on you. Give me your peace and he'll calm me down and then I can get my focus back. That is the strategy. That's the tip, you guys. Do that in every situation. Focus on the Lord. Ask Him to give, fill your mind with His peace. Okay? Keep asking Him. If you're not feeling it, keep asking Him over and over again until you feel it. Get focused on Him. Okay? That's the only way we can overcome things. Our eyes have to be focused on God at all times. So, we're going to walk with God every day. Invite Him to be a part of your life every day. Never give up. Never give up. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to be rewarded way above just whatever you can possibly think. God is going to reward you greater than that. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, teaching.